Well, first of all, the idea that, that Senator Vitter would hire people whose desire is to go manufacture an affidavit, uh, to ha approach someone with an affidavit that is already she complete. called the campaign, actually. Well, but the affidavit was complete before the individual got there. And then trying to talk the, the affiant into yeah, sure sure it's true. It, it, it true. Was, I was asked am I gonna do the press conference? Excuse me, if Senator Vitter would like to speak, he right. can come back. Thank oh he talked he yeah. talked to reporters. Thank you. Yeah. Well, right here. You asked him about the press conference. The press conference, the sheriff said that the investigator actually went there with an affidavit that had already been printed and that the the person working on the senator's behalf was there in order to get the person to agree to certain things that they wanted said in order to delay the story long enough to make sure that they got past the primary date and was suggesting answers that would be helpful in that regard uh, to the young lady who is the affiant. I, I, I'm not focused on that politics. I think that's using the badge, quite frankly, to play politics. You think he's uh, doing this for political reasons? Oh, I, I think that's very obvious. Okay, you, you don't think there's any credibility to what he's saying? No, because there, uh, you know, you would jump at the opportunity to file some yes. sort of criminal charge. There's none in sight. Well, why did your campaign manager hire Excuse a lawyer? Excuse me, concerned about what he didn't hire a lawyer. Uh, so the sheriff was lying when he said that there was... I don't know what the sheriff said, but I can tell you that. Mm -hmm.